So as you've been out looking at other people's InfraWorks models, you may have noticed that some have this really cool floating 3D text in them. And uh, I'm going to share you, with you the secret of how to make that 3D text. So uh, what you do is you go into an AutoCAD-based product like Civil 3D or AutoCAD or any of the others. And you can see I've, I've kind of been working on the one for West Main Street here. And uh, if we switch back to InfraWorks, we'll see that we've got a street over here called North 7th Street. So I'd like to make a label for that uh, for that street. So I'll switch over to Civil 3D and uh, I'll just type out my text. I'll just use the good old text command. Pick a start point and I'll just call this North 7th Street. I'll position it about where um, and I can get real precise with this, but I'm going to put the bottom center at about 0, 0. Then I'll go to my Express Tools and use the Explode Text command. And now it becomes a series of closed polygons. And now I'll use the Extrude command. And I just happen to know that 0.1 is a pretty good value for the size text that I'm working with. It took me a couple of trials and errors to figure that out. And uh, it doesn't look like anything happened from this perspective, but if I flip this in the object viewer real quick, you can see that it is, in fact, 3D. So just like that. Next, I want to export it as FBX. So um, I'll just launch the FBX export command. Give it, a, give it a name, and I'll just dump this on my desktop, and I'll call it North 7th Street. I'll say that I want to use selected entities, even though it's the only thing in my drawing. Typically, you're going to do this maybe in a drawing that you already have open, so you want to use selected entities. But it's important that whatever you select has uh, is near or has a base point of 0, 0. Now, And notice also that we can embed textures. So if you wanted to get fancy and add a texture to this or a color, you could do that as well. But I'm just going with basic white here. So I'll select my what appears to be text but is actually extruded solids press enter click OK and that generates my FBX file so now I can go into InfraWorks I can simply just drag and drop that FBX file right into my drawing tell InfraWorks that it is city furniture and use the interactive placing to just kinda of drop it in the model I'll click close and refresh and just kind of see what we got. And you can see that um, it comes in really small and it's also kind of laying down flat on the road which isn't exactly what I want. So the first thing I'll do is go to the configuration for that data source and I'll go to the X value and type in minus 90 and that should rotate it up the way I want it to be. And now the rest I can do from the, from the tools within InfraWorks. So I'll go into edit mode. And then I can make this a lot larger. And I can also rotate it. Just using my uh, basic InfraWorks editing skills. And uh, a lot of folks like to show it a bit elevated off the road so you can get those shadows. So there's my North 7 Street label, and it goes along nicely with my West Main Street. It's a little bit smaller, but of course I could make them sized to match. One other thing I want to show you that you may run into, as I zoom into this, uh, this floating 3D text, um, by default, if I go into my Model Explorer, the city furniture level of detail is is by default turned on which means as I zoom out the detail drops to help with performance so um, you'll notice this text look, looks kinda of funky right now but if I zoom in nice and close it straightens itself out and that's because InfraWorks is trying to drop down the level of detail as I zoom out to help with performance well obviously that's not a good result for this particular application so I can go into Model Explorer find my city furniture and turn off adaptive LOD 
and now everything looks good no matter how far away or how close I am to it. So that's how you make floating 3D text labels in InfraWorks using an AutoCAD product.